Hello everybody, this is Mina4657, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia! In the last episode, we did... God knows what. Well, I remember what I did, I just can't remember the exact last thing we did. So, what we need to do right now is... Do... Uh, we need to solve these puzzles. Oh god, okay, so... Throughout the castle, you'll see these... Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! He's... Okay. It's not like I want to avoid the battles. We need the we kind of need the experience, but I just want to I want just want to show you this as soon as possible. Okay, so with a vegan bomb, blah blah blah. First, we gotta see what that weapon was for repeat. Huh? Scanning displays remaining HP over displays remaining HP over enemy with magic lens. I have no idea what that means, but I think it's a good thing. Okay, so anyway, we got these statues here. Command the heavens with the power of the ring. With the span of three pairs of wings, her reflection shall appear in the shattered half mirror. Only then will the third door open. So, you see, like, the, these angel statues have pairs, pairs of wings. So, and obviously, hitting them with the sorcerer's ring will empower them. And when you do it wrong, like I just did... You get punished with this. <laughs> so, that wasn't actually what we're supposed to do. And why am I Yuri? I have no idea. I wonder if he has like any altered arts I need to work on, but I don't know if I don't know if that is really anything. Okay, so that was the s I think that was the second statue or so. So let's go and find the actual first statue, which I think is on the other side. There are four statues. I remember exactly where they are, so you don't need so I don't need to worry about that. The reason why I don't like this is just because you have to keep going from one end of the castle to the other and keep getting in battles like this. So actually I think I might control you for the rest for this portion because so we can um, get some of these battles going over really fast. Okay. Sorry to attack you a little bit too early there, sorry about that. I think he has um, extra hits on his sand. Three, four, five, six. Yep, six. Instead of the usual five. Like, like when you start out, I think there's four, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Probably shouldn't have done that. I should... Oh well. Nobody cares, Krillin. Oh my god. Please stay away from me. Oh my... There are too many. This is fun! This probably isn't a good thing. Ugh. Okay, so... Let's, um... I just gotta protect Rita for the time being. I just can't have him die. I mean, can't have her die, sorry. Rita is not a good guy. And I can tell. Oof! Okay, so, you're probably wondering why I've been recording so much Vesperia these days. This is actually something I've been meaning to talk about. Um, you see, these days, I've been getting a little bit, I've been getting a little bit more busy, because I was assigned some extra tax at the studio I work for, but I can't really get into details about that. So, I haven't had much time to record these days, so whenever I do have the time to record, like today, I'll record this game just because I'm having so much fun with it, and we got two people dead right now, and this isn't good. Uh, I didn't even notice people were dying. God, I gotta pay attention to that. Uh-oh! We are not dying here. Okay, you guys are really starting to piss me off. Oh, God. Wow, that really just happened. And they were never heard from again. 
Well, there's your game over screen. It's kind of obligatory. I think they did that in the other Tales of Games. Let's try that again, shall we? You have to start back at the save point, so I need to heal up again. Ugh, sorry about that. That'll, that won't happen again. I wasn't paying attention to the battle, and then we all died. Okay, so let's just head back that way again. Good thing we didn't really lose much progress. <laughs> Only about five minutes. Oh, please don't be in a counter link. Thank you. This looks like fun. Okay, so um, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, just um, whenever I do get the time to record, whenever I just got enough fair time, I'll just record this game. But I'll be getting back to Custom Robo, and then later, um. I don't know exactly. I still don't know exactly when I'll get back to Harvest Moon, but I, I really do want to get we back to that. No mercy to but I don't know. I don't know how long it will take to actually finish it. But it's just a game I did. I don't know very well, and I kind of started that LP on a whim. And right now, I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for um putting that on, um like leaving you hanging with that. Okay, so we got a new weapon for uh, Raven, but he hasn't learned Super Chain 4 yet, so I'm going to keep that on him for a little bit longer. But then he learns uh, Crucible and Ethanora skills, which will, which will give him some altered arts. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Wait a second. When she with the, with the tiny wind smiles gently in the darkness, the first door shall open. Okay, see? First door. So that one's first. I, can't, I just can't remember which order they were in. That's the that's the only problem here. Now the you can't go in these doors, can you? That's what I thought. Okay, so one of the other angel statues is over in this direction. Should be around this way, I think. It's right down this hallway here. Big hallway. Pins of the wings. That's the fourth door shall open. Nope, that's not the right one. You'll see, like, the wings will, like, slowly rise and then, like, say something else that has something to do with, like, the whole legend and stuff. Pretty, pretty cool, actually. All right, so the other one is just straight this way. You can get, you can, you th like these two statues are really easy to get to from one or the other. It's right over here. And come the rain. Underneath the second door shall open. Okay, so this should, this is the second one. Now we got to go all the way back to that area again, and then hit the third one. Which is why I kind of have a problem with it. It's just like, it's just so tedious just to get from one place to the other. I think I'm actually going to stop in this... Wait a second, where does this one lead? Oh wait, I'm, I'm on the basement floor. That's right. Uh, this way... I want to go back in the dining hall. So I can refill my HP and TP. I'll just go over here and get that real fast. Might as well. Okay! So we need to head down again. God. This place is huge. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this place is huge. We'll destroy them in no time. This should be easy enough. Ow. Nice, Rita. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't actually talk at all during that battle pretty much, so I, I still don't know if I'm going to cut out battles or not. Uh, 
po... Ok. Ow. Oh man, it was attacking so I couldn't get the fatal strike off. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, someone posted a comment saying that Gale for Judith will change that Lunar Storm or whatever into something else. So that, that was that's a pretty helpful tip. Lunar change the span of the waves of reflection. Only then the third door will open. Okay, so now that we got that, we can now go back to the fourth door, which might take a while, and I think I'm going to trade in Carol for Raven. Just because Carol's getting low on stats and Raven is on all full, so might as well. Just to get us in a better fighting position so we can not die. <laughs> so we can not die. That was very good grammar there. Thank you. I'm sure all the English teachers watching this will will really be happy for you. It's actually kind of awkward. But never mind. Anyway, we need to go back over here to where the dungeon is. I'm sorry I'm kind of going through this really fast, but I really don't like this part. As I said in other par parts, and power range, and we'll move forward to show up. And the little jingle meant it worked. All right. So now we can get into the very uh, the the deepest part of the castle chambers. And now I'm going to switch to Rita. It's just that the first time I went through this area, getting through this castle was really hard because everything looked the same, or at least um, at least like the majority of everything looked the same. So if you have a hard time getting through this castle, I don't blame you, because I had a hard time with it myself. Did you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. Um, I actually need to start casting. Uh, what was it? Oh wow, she actually almost knows it. So that means this one should got him back to stalagmite. Yep. So I'm going to replace stalagmite with riot horn just because it is so much better. And then there are other, um, there are some other altered arts with Rita that I really want to show. Like I said, there's an altered art with fireball that I use even more often than fireball, and there's also another one with spiral flare. And I really want to show those. I think I got all the treasures. I'm pretty shredded anyway. So what do you want to worry about and all of that? Jeez. Stupid Tachko must don't know what they're doing. Sorry, but you're going bye -bye. These aren't new enemies, are they? This one is. Why haven't I identified this one? Night Lancer A. Jeez, these guys are like level these are really high level enemies here. Get away from me! Someone give me a hand here. That wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Okay, what, where are we standing here? Level 50? Not too bad for this part of the game, anyway. Although, I would like to be a slightly higher level, but hey, what can you do? From 1 to 4, front to back, dark to light, stay from this and disaster shall follow. What the hell is it talking about? I don't know, but you just hit it and it opens. So I don't really know what it's trying to say. Maybe it's like the key to deciphering the angels. And if you look on the, if you look here on the side of the wall, you can see um, the actual order of the statues that you have to hit them in. 
and it'll, it'll say the same inscriptions and all that kind of stuff, so it's pretty cool. It really does give you a hint on what, on what order you're supposed to do it, but it's just that where the statues are, that's for you to figure out. But I already showed you where they are, so you, so it's all a matter of just memorizing which order, which order the rooms you need to go in. Then once you get that down, then it's all, it's all hunky dory there. So we're gonna use the save point here, make it, uh, save it on the extra file because I am probably gonna die here. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I'm if I if I start dying a lot, then I'm probably just gonna end the video right there and then just go grind off screen for a bit. And get up to uh, like one or two levels or so. Because even like one, two, even like, th whoa. <laughs> okay, I don't like it when it does that. It's like, it completely, like the cameras completely change. <laughs> it just looks weird. But anyway. But in all serious now, there is Alex Alexei and he still has a cell with him. So let's go kick his ass. We're finally going to kick Alexei's ass. This is going to be, this is going to feel so good. I thought that crash would have been the last of you. If we hadn't been lucky, you just might have gotten your wish. You can let her go now and save yourself some pain, or we can break you first. It's your call. Sorry to be a bore, but let's say I refuse both of those. I'd be happy to decide for you. The princess was splendid. Her power equals the ancient children of the full moon. Every person has a role, and the princess has played her part exceedingly well. If she's done her part, then we'll take her back right now. As you wish. What would you do with the princess now? Her power has subsumed her will entirely. Her power has finally been controlled by a system I have put into place. Blastia that go out of control must be destroyed. You should know that. Don't talk about Estelle like she's just some thing! Oh, but the princess was a tool most crucial to my plans. As were you, Schwann. And since you survived, I will use you again. Return like the puppet you are. Sorry, but you buried that poor schmuck alive yourself. I'm Raven. Pleased to meet you. We all have a role to play, but each person has a say in what that role is. Even though so many live such meaningless mundane lives? I think not. If they choose that life, then so what? That's what deciding for yourself means. How unfortunate. We will never see eye to eye. No! Estelle, don't do this! Damn it! So yeah, this battle is not fun. So we have to fight Estelle. She's only level 48, so she's not... She's not insanely hard. So you don't have to worry too much about dying. Save your over limits. Because <laughs> you're gonna need them. She's strong. I can't. I can't hurt her. I really don't want to do this. Estelle, come on! Uh. Ah! Estelle! Snap out of it! Oh, I guess we don't have a choice. Ugh. That damn commandant! Estelle, I'm sorry we have to hurt you. Get away from that. Come on. That was not enough power. Huh? Thank 
thanks to you, this new key to replace Dane Nomos is now complete. As a show of my appreciation, I will allow you to witness the fruition of my plan. The awakening of the true child of the full moon.